cooking video. Today, you guys, I haven't been around for a while. It's because, you know, I got a lot of things going on. And, but you ain't guys ain't gotta worry. I ain't forget about y'all. I got a lovely video today. It's gonna be delicious. And very, very, very tasty. And it's very common. So, let's get cooking. And we got, in future we have more content. More content soon, guys. More content soon. This is going to be our Thanksgiving special. So stay tuned to that. So I got two two fat steaks over here and a chicken a chicken breast. So what I'm going to do is season these bad boys traditionally with some salt and pepper. Add enough salt. Don't be stingy. You know what I mean? Don't worry about it. Bam! Oh, pepper. <laughs> Get the pepper going. Don't be stingy with the pepper either. Rub it. Rub these bad boys. Add a little bit of oregano. Oregano. To give it a little bit more earthy flavor. Oregano is good on everything, guys. I'm telling you. Very good on everything. So rub the oregano in. Pat it down. Same thing with the chicken. Just salt and pepper this bad boy. Salt and pepper this guy. And a little bit of oregano. Like I said, oregano is good on everything, guys. Earthy flavor. Earthy flavor. So you turn this bad boy around. Oh, you have to turn all around the chicken. Turn the bad boy around, do the same process again. Just go be stingy on the salt. Throw it the Throw it inside here, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Don't be shady. So you're going to mop it up. Pepper. Don't be scared. Put some more. <laughs> some pepper. Pepper. Oregano. 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 Season, guys. You want to flavor these bad boys. You know what I mean? Add a, of, add, a little, add a little bit of olive oil on top. Not, not on the chicken, just on the steak. Mm -hmm. You know what? Add on the chicken. And we're broiling these steaks yeah, too. Yeah, we're gonna broil these bad boys. You're gonna see. Uh, you're gonna mop on the fat side. Mop it up. Seasoning. Mop this bad boy up. All right. All right, did the other side, so. And the chicken, you know, you don't want to forget about that. <laughs> right, wash hands. You don't want those greasy hands. Oily hands. Okay, we're gonna put these bad boys inside here. Right in the broiler. Alright guys. I got the chicken and the steaks inside of your oven and into the broiler. I got water over here that I'm gonna be cooking my pasta in. And I got water over here that I'm gonna be cooking my broccoli. Alright? So basically the meal that I'm gonna be making is fettuccine, fettuccine Alfredo with broiled steak and broccoli. All right, so I'm gonna make my own Alfredo sauce. I'm not gonna, I, I'm not using the, you know, the jar. The cheap. The cheap jar, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm not being cheap today. So basically I'm gonna make my, uh, my Alfredo sauce. And I'm, gonna I'm gonna show you step by step. But first, let these steaks and, and chicken cook because you don't want to do the Alfredo sauce right now because you don't want to get the pasta cold. So you want to, um, you know, even the time up. So when you know the, uh, the steaks are gonna be done, 15 minutes before, that's when you start doing the pasta. You know what I mean? You gotta have the, hot, the water hot first. 
All right, so stay tuned. Be right back. And yeah, be right back when the steaks is uh, about to be done. All right, guys? Be right back. Granddaddy has been used. sharpened and used for a while, so he's literally like impatient right now. He is dying to cut some broccoli. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna chop him up real nice. You gotta chop him up real good, you know what I mean? He'll be happy. <laughs> It. it should be nice. Broccoli. Got this nice broccoli from my local uh, supermarket. So, what you want to do, cut the crab right like that, and start heating up the water. All the broccoli. In the, in the pasta oil, in the pasta um, water, you just want to add a, uh, a little bit of olive oil and sprinkle a little bit of salt. That's it. All right. So you're going to take the broccoli. You want to top it so it could, you know, cook faster. The broccoli, boom. Chop them up. Look how granddaddy, how sharp granddaddy is. Chop them up. You want to leave them nice size, you know what I mean? So, you, so when you're eating eating your food, you get that crunch, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, all you gotta do is cut the edges. Bam. All the little creases. All the little creases is good. Bam. 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 Once you cut like a couple of them, they're all gonna be uh, spreading out easily. Broccoli salt. That's how you release the garlic as fast as you can. Ain't gotta. So you need all you need is three. Make it four. Five, five uh, cloves of garlic. Pop. 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 There you go. That's the only thing I hate about this garlic. Next time I'm gonna buy them peeled already. They're annoying, but it's the, with the peels, it's the freshest one you want, you know? Fresh. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, comment this video, share this video, guys.
helped this channel out. If you guys haven't visited my uh, my vlog channel, I'm gonna leave the link in the description of my channel in the description below. So you guys could go and subscribe, guys. You support me on that channel, it'll be awesome. Do a lot of vlogs, do a lot of work vlogs there, you know what I mean? If you guys wanna see what I do on my job, and I'm gonna do other vlogs too. I just started doing uh, my, my work vlogs, stuff like that. But I have other things, other things in mind of what I wanna do for that channel. So if you guys wanna watch that channel and, and stay tuned for whatever I'm gonna be doing and be part of the family over there, will be awesome, guys. That'll be awesome, you helping us out. And, and we will appreciate it. And um, let us know in the comments that if you tried this before. Yeah, let me know in the, in the comment section if you guys tried this meal. You know what I mean? If you guys, you know, made it one day. This is a very common meal. You know what I mean? Very good. But it's very delicious. Mm -hmm. So you want to mince the garlic. You gotta be careful with granddaddy. He's very anxious and he's very sharp. He got off his cage. Exactly. Mince the garlic really good, guys. Mince the garlic really good. Very minced. I think that's good enough. That's how minced you want. You want it just like that, guys. You know what I mean? Wash your hands. All right, let's check on this steak and chicken because they, they look like they're cooking really fast, guys. Really fast. Look at these bad boys. Look how juicy this bad boy is, guys. Look how juicy. So good. Look at the juice. Oh my god, juice is releasing this bad boy. They're almost done, guys. That's why I like doing them in the broiler because it's very quick in the broiler. You can see a little bit of blood coming out, so it's still cooking. it's still cooking. So I give it about a couple of uh, minutes. A couple of minutes too. The 20 minutes it will be done, you know what I mean? So, alright guys. I got the garlic chopped up. I got the uh, the broccoli chopped up. The um, noodle noodle um, water is getting um is heating up. Almost there, and the broccoli the broccoli water is almost there. All right, so I'll be right back when the steaks is done and we're getting ready to prepare the Alfredo sauce to you to put into the to mix it with the noodles. All right, so guys, all right, I got the noodles already uh in the water cooking. We gotta give it a few minutes for it to, um, you don't wanna cook it too much. You wanna cook it until uh, when it gets to al dente. Means is soft and, and a little hard in the, mid, in the middle, you know what I mean? All right, give me one second. We're gonna start, we're gonna start, um, we're gonna um, do the sauce. We got the butter. Let's get this bad boy heated up over here. If it turns on, let me help him out real quick. This is a getaway. I never seen that do that. Come on, bad boy. Is that a fight? There you go. Alright, he's good. Let this guy heat up a little bit. Let's add. One tablespoon butter. Two tablespoon of butter. Alright? Two tablespoon. Let's check on the steaks. Let that melt down. You gotta let that melt down. You know what I mean? At the end, I put the broiler, I put the broiler on low. You know what I mean? Because it was cooking too fast. Look at this bad boy. Alright, we're gonna take this bad boy out. It's already done. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take him out. So we got to um, have them rest. I gotta be careful because okay. I do not we'll want all the sauce first. to, uh, yeah. you know, to pour out. Mm -hmm. Let them sit there, sit there so the juice can all absorb it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take this bad boy out. It's done. You see the color? Chicken is done. 
The chicken was done real quick. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna put this bad boy somewhere. That smells so good. good, oh my god. Ah, it doesn't fit. Uh, let's set them over here. One second, let me just move these guys over here. My coffee cup. Coffee. Coffee. Coffee cup. Coffee. Put this bad boy. Ah, wait for this bad boy right here. If it fits, if it fits. Get this guy. I, I, just need, I just need this guy to sit somewhere. There you go. Alright, it's done. Let it sit there for a minute. That smells so good. <laughs> the boy is already turn that almost off? uh you turn it off? Oh, thank you. Now we want to cause a fire here. All right, let the butter, let the butter oh, melt down. It's melting down right now. All right, it's melting down. It's gonna be quick, watch. Look at the process, all right? All right, it melted. You wanna add the garlic? Garlic. Add the garlic. Now you want to add the heavy cream. Heavy cream. Whipping cream, heavy cream, whatever you guys want in your cream. Same thing. A little bit of salt. Right A little bit of uh, pepper. Mm -hmm. The water starts jumping up right now. Yeah. A little bit of pepper. Now we add the heavy cream. Lower the temperature because it's really hot. Mm -hmm. Medium heat. Add the, uh, the heavy cream. There you go. About about a cup and a half, depending how much pasta you're doing. You know what I mean? So you want to let this bad boy. You want to let this bad boy simmer. Summer. Whoa, look how that, that big change. Exactly. Tastes good already. Mm -hmm. Alright. So what you want to do? You want to move the pasta. You don't want to You don't want to let it stick. You know what I mean? Pasta's done. Mm. Already? But like you said, you don't want it. You want to leave it for a couple of minutes because you don't want it to get. You want it authentic. You know what I mean? You want it. You know, the classic Italian way. You know. It may not look. I mean, it may look like it's already done, but you don't really yeah, know. Yeah. Let me just try one. Take one of the noodles. I could tell it's already hard. It's still hard though. We gotta leave it a couple of minutes. Yeah. yeah you gotta leave it a couple. Of minutes. Mm -hmm. A couple more minutes, it'll be done. Steaks are done. You gotta let it rest. When the steaks are done, guys. When the steaks are done, you gotta let it sit there for a little bit. You, if you cut it right away, it's gonna release all the juices, and you don't want that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Broccoli water's done. We're gonna start putting the broccoli in. And these guys, you wanna just uh, keep them there for a little bit. You don't wanna, you don't wanna um, overcook these bad boys. Like yeah. if you overcook these bad boys, they're just gonna, you know, it's just gonna fall apart, you oh, yeah. know? You wanna keep them nice and soft? You want, you want them still hard, not yeah. not too hard, but you want it uh, in, in, in a way that you, you, you can still, you know, you're gonna still feel the crunch, you know what I mean, of the yeah. broccoli. You know what I mean? So, poke it down, it will cook, Ooh. even with the vape, it will cook. Ah, burn myself, guys! Alright. You want to have the, the sauce until it gets to a simmer, you know what I mean? Once it gets to a simmer, then we're gonna add the Parmesan cheese to give it that that authentic, authentic uh, Alfredo taste. You know what I mean, guys? So 
keep stirring it, keep stirring it until you know, until it starts simmering, guys. It's hot in here. <laughs> Very hot in here, guys. We're almost done. This, this meal is, is practically 90% done. All we gotta do is uh, noodles be done, add the sauce on top, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's simmering right now. So, we're gonna add the Parmesan cheese, guys, all right? Use any Parmesan cheese you want, you know. I'm using Palio. <laughs> Palio the cracker. Alright, you're gonna use Palio. A little bit of that, not like a cup. Cup and a half of Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. Because remember, guys, Parmesan cheese have salt in it. So you don't wanna like add too much salt in the beginning. Parmesan cheese. So you want to mix this bad boy until it dissolves into the into the mixture until it gets a little thick. And you can get those Once the Parmesan. Parmesan cheese gets thick, and that's when you know it's ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. So keep mixing it. Keep mixing the Parmesan cheese in it until it starts getting thick. Add a little bit more because I add a lot, a lot of add more Parmesan cheese. So you know, you, until it dissolves and it gets thick, you know. The Parmesan cheese is the one that's getting it thick, you know. Look how it's getting it thick, you know. Look at this. It's Pasta's almost, almost done. Look how thick. Look how yeah, thick. See? Yeah. Damn, beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this bad boy. Going out so good. And the yeah. Parmesan. Parmesan cheese. cheese. Don't be, don't be, don't be stingy, guys. Don't be shy. Put some more. The more you put, the thicker it gets. You know. This is the natural way. This is the traditional way. This is the the more. Look how thick it is, yeah. guys. Look how thick it is. We'll be careful. I put, a lot of, I put a lot of milk. We need some more Parmesan cheese. Oh, the, the consistency that I like. Right, let it cook a little bit. Let it simmer a little more. So it's really good. Taste this bad boy. Awesome. You always make everything awesome. Awesome, guys. Awesome, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, guys. If you like this video, hit yes, that man. subscribe button, guys. Hi. Hit that like button for me, guys, and share this video. You always you know make I mean? everything awesome. <laughs> my kids love my cooking, guys. I'm telling you, every time I, every time I hit the kitchen, it's over. It's damaged, guys. It's literally dinner, dinner heaven. You know what I mean? Literally Enjoy it. damage. <laughs> now it's, our, it's simmering. You see those little bubbles? Simmering? Bubbles? It's getting thicker. See? It's getting thicker. It's getting thicker. That's yeah. the sauce you want, guys. And if you think you put too much of the Parmesan cheese, just add a little bit more milk, heavy cream. Add, add a little bit of heavy cream. But this sauce is done. Check the pasta. Pasta done. Ooh. Let's get the um the strainer. Ah, the cup is gonna fall. Technical difficulties. I got it. Technical difficulties, guys. Technical difficulties. Up the ball is out. <laughs> get it. Put this bad boys. Rinse. 
It was just broccoli. All right, so let's get the, these bad boys out of the um. Careful, age. Almost done. Chill, chill. Nose is done. Go a little bit of a mistake, but shake them a little bit. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Boys, that one back into the pot. Parmesan cheese. All right, pasta back in the pot. Take the sauce. Pour the sauce. Long time. Yeah. You see that thickness right there? Look at the thickness. Look at the thickness. I need a, a spatula. I haven't used that for like a, a year. Oh, it's hot. Get all the little bits that you could get out with the spatula. No, all the little coming. bits. All the little bits. Good. This bad boy there. We're gonna use. Mix all these bad boys together. Oh my God, heaven! And we made enough sauce for this. Enough. Enough. Oh my God, I smell that. I smell that so good, right? Wow, awesome! It's like heaven, guys. I'm telling you, it's just so delicious. You want to mix these bad boys so everything is incorporated. Each noodle is already is, is already uh, covered in the in the sauce. And Dame drops. If you see this video, please react to this video, guy. I want to hear your your opinion. opinion about this dish. And I hope this dish comes out on the liking of all you guys. You know what I mean? Hit that subscribe button for me. Basic Broccoli is done. Good. Broccoli is done. Look how many juice came out of this. Seriously, like, woo. You guys need to try this. Need broccoli is done. So we're gonna take the broccoli. Ooh, the right time. Ah, baby, the right time. Chow again. Like, you don't want to overcook the broccoli, guys. You don't want to overcook. We don't want it falling apart. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna take a Berkeley, 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 Berkeley. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Stop. 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 I gotta cut Six. steaks, guys. You guys forgot about that, didn't you? Hope you did it. That's the king of the show. You might think. Start of the show. Alright. Take a fork. I did chicken because my wife does not eat beef, so that's the reason why I made chicken. Mm -hmm. But this dish is fettuccine alfredo with. Chicken yeah. and steak, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's go. You're gonna cut this bad boy in half. Yeah, let's see that. Let's see that. The color came out, guys. Ooh. Rare. Medium rare. Perfect. That's the, that's the steak you want. So then now let's plate this bad boy. Let's plate this bad boy. Fettuccine. Fettuccine. See that? Ooh. Mm, beautiful. Let it sit. Restaurant, restaurant. You want to be that um, very expensive Add restaurant that. type? Add your piece of steak. The one's on the left side, guys. 
Take your broccoli. This is Flo another example. You broccoli, block broccoli florets. Can you see that? There goes your meal, mm. guys. Broil steak with fettuccine alfredo with a couple of florets of broccoli, guys. Beautiful. Nice. You know what? Sorry, guys. It's for granddaddy. Big guy right here likes the big steak. You know what I mean? There's another two pieces over there. Why are you crying? So let's try this bad boy. Let's try this bad boy, guys. All right, let's try this fettuccine Alfredo. See how it is. It's been a while that we haven't did a video. But guys, I'm coming with a lot of videos soon to watch. More content. Wow, so tasty. Tasteful. You taste that Parmesan cheese. Parmesan taste. cheese. It's freaking delicious, guys. Delicious. Cheese heaven. I'm going to try the broccoli. Even though you got a little, you know what? Hold on. Cheese. You got a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt in the broccoli. Cheese, um, give a little spree. flavor, you know. Give a little flavor, right? Flavor. Let's try the broccoli with the salt. Hard work over here. Delicious. Now, steak, 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 man. Steak time. Steak time. Steak time. You got your steak knife. Steak knife for that. Beautiful steak knife that I got from Walmart. Faberware. Rinse it out real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's try the steak, guys. To see how juicy this bad boy is. Mm. Mm, nicely cut. Cuts really easy with this knife. You have famous steak cut? Ooh, I forgot A1 sauce. Mm. Not about that bad boy. But that works sauce though. Mm -hmm. Let's try this bad boy. Look at this steak. Look at this steak. Ooh. I can smell that. It looks like a piece of cake. Ooh, look at that. Mm, look at a nice cut on that. Mm. Nice color. Let's try this. Mm. Nice and soft. Mm. Heaven right here. Heaven, heaven. Mm. Look at that. My mom's missing Delicious. out. My mom's missing out of the steak. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Delicious, guys. Delicious. If you're a steak lover. Dude, this is an awesome dish for you to prepare. Well deserved. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe down below. And don't worry guys, new more, new more videos coming soon. Stay tuned for that Thanksgiving special that I'm gonna do on Thanksgiving day. All right guys, so like always, see you guys in the next video. Peace!